Mr. President, it's good to see you again. We were just talking about last time we saw each other when I was Vice President down in the Dominican Republic, I guess that was 2017. Yes, that was when you visited Dominican Republic. Yeah. And uh, look, the friendship between our between our countries runs deep, strengthened by generations of Dominicans who become American citizens. We've got a population that's real. And the partnership between our nations is, I think, stronger than ever before, in large part because of your leadership. And uh, thank you. Together, we're expanding opportunities for working people in both our nations, I believe, and uh, including through our American Partnership for Economic uh, Prosperity. And we're uh, standing side by side to counter corruption. You're leading on that, and I appreciate that. I want to thank you, Mr. President, for your leadership on what was, in fact, and always has been an issue in the region. And uh, you know, finally, working together uh, to address the historic humanitarian security situation in Haiti. As I said at the UN General Assembly, people of Haiti cannot wait. And uh, together, we're going to continue to support the uh, Kenyan-led multinational mission. And we're going to continue to urge Haitian political actors to come together for the good of their country. So, uh, Mr. President, I want to thank you again for making the effort to be here. And I look forward to our conversations today about the issues of extended our relationship in the region. So thank you for being here. Thank you, President Biden. I agree with you that the relation uh, with the United States now is better than ever. And we are, uh, thank you very much for uh, hosting this uh, association for American partnership uh, for economic development uh, with other countries of Latin America. Uh, the Dominican people are your friends. The Dominican people are your allies. And the Dominican people are your partners. As you know, we have more than 2 million Dominican descendants in the United States, which uh, we are uh, grateful forever of receiving them, and uh, they are also great citizens of this country. We share your commitments to strengthen security, democracy, and human rights. We are partners in defending uh, democracy in the region. And in order to achieve this goal, we must increase President Biden and spread prosperity and deliver the fruits of democracy to all our people. We are firmly committed to fight against illegal drugs and corruption. Any country cannot develop with corruption. And we are fighting corruption, as you already stated, as never before in our country. And these goals can be better accomplished if we do it through constructive cooperation. The Dominican people are very proud of our economic recovery, which depends to a considerable degree on US trade and tourism. We will continue to work hard to build an even brighter future for all our people. Mr. President, we look forward to welcoming you soon to the Dominican Republic at the, next, at the next Summit of the Americas in 2025, where we will continue to develop the bonds of prosperity, security, and democracy that bind us together. And that summit will be in Punta Cana, so you have time to be on the beach. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you, President. Today, 74 American folks uh, out uh, that are dual citizens coming up. Anyway, thank you. Okay, thank you guys.